Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Isuzu build. Today I'm joined with my very, very good friend, Vladimir, and uh, welcome. Good to, uh, good to have you here, Gary. My name is Vladimir. Uh, we're the owners of the Estate Panel Beaters. We do restoration, modifications, and accident cars. What are we busy with here, Vlad? Well, at first we're doing your Isuzu. Ah. Uh, so. And uh, all the nitty gritties, all the good stuff that requires to put it on a car to make it look nice. So what we've done, as we showed you in the last episode, is we did the metal work and uh, we did some of the, the finishing. However, we brought it to the professionals to finish it off and make it 100%. So Vlad, how have you gone about finishing this off? Well, from you, Gary, it wasn't easy because you <laughs> gave me a tank. <laughs> Everything was square edges. So what we have done, we have to reshape the body, the B pillar, to match the lines to the rest of the car and also to have uh, aerodynamic, uh, aerodynamic, uh, dynamics. dynamics to meet with the loading bin. Yes. So everything lines so up. The lines. The oh. lines, everything has to meet the door, the B pillar, and the, and the loading load bin. bin from yes. the new vehicle. It looks stunning. And as you can see, it's perfectly rounded off here. It's so Yeah, sweet. we had to reshape every panel, every line manually. Very, very, very nice. Should we have a look at the load bin? Right, so now we're at the load bin, and uh, here's the beautiful shape that comes out on this new sexy wide-ass uh, load bin. As you know, we started off with a brand new load bin from a uh, latest generation Isuzu KB. And uh, this here is the shape that Volvo was talking about. So this has been quite a mission, eh, Volvo, to integrate uh, this yes, into the has. shape. Yes, it has. It's to meet the criteria with all the lines and all the shapes and aerodynamics to meet the loading body, the lines, so that it will look as it's been fabricated, as original, customized. The way we love it. One of the kind. Beautiful. Beautiful. Should we go and look at the front fenders? Let's have a look at the white uh, fenders. White fenders. <laughs> so as you see, now we're here at the front fenders. Uh, you've seen a few iterations of these. We started off with the uh, plastic uh, fender liners, which was never the, the long-term plan. That was actually pretty sucky. And uh, we wanted to showcase what we can actually do as fabricators, as builders, yeah, collaborators. So as you saw last time, we purchased fenders from the newer Bucky. We sliced them off. We added them to the older Bucky. We removed the inner part of the old fender and added the new part, but it didn't stop there. From there, we brought it to Vlad and his team of master crafters, and they actually finished all of this as well as the inside, eh, Vlad? That's correct. So, as you can see here, this is all of that has been modified. The fenders were added where there is no lines will be shown and it's joined from the inside, welded properly. But the challenge was is to line up at two different bumpers. Yeah. We'll get Make to that sure to line up to the factory spec over here that we've done it, modified all of this. Uh, metal work only. It was done. Headlights that to be fitted, original, and obviously the modified bumper that needs to be fit in here. Yeah. Which so has to fit. Yeah. Which has to be fit as originally with the perfect gaps that you require. So, and you can see on the inside, it's going to get sealed. It's going, it's going to show all the lines and finishings. Well, you just have to wait for it. Yeah. You just have to wait for it when we're done with it. That's a sexy part. Yeah. And as you can see, a lot of hours has been put in here. Yeah, many. many a lot of many, hours, many. a lot of detailing. And a lot fitting, of love. Taking out, fitting, taking out, fitting, taking out, fitting. Make sure it's done. Oh, it looks great. It looks yeah. absolutely You amazing. can see it. And it, the nice thing is that it looks, if you didn't know, you would have thought this came from the factory like this. And that's what we try. That's to what we aim All in steel to do with. better than the factory or sometimes to suit your requirements. Yeah. Well, this, is this quite a requirement? 
Well, uh, I think what's his name? You will love it when it's a finished product, yeah. You will love it when it's fully done. Should we have a look at the bumper? Let's have a look at the bumper. So what we did here at the bumper is we started off with a standard OEM bumper. We uh, went and got a bumper from the newer spec Isuzu and we uh, sliced off the fenders. And then uh, we went about trying to figure out what we were going to do. Then we made a trip down here to you, Vlad. And we went yes. to your scrap pile of old bumpers. That's correct. And, and we, we selected quite a few. You gave me a bit yep. of a choice. That's correct. And we ended up with this, which I don't even know what it is. What is this? Uh, this is Nissan Magnite. Magnite. Well, it's, it's looking uh, it's quite an ugly car to start with, but uh, hopefully it looks a bit better. Well, on if you fuse it, yeah. this is what you get. So we have basically fused a Nissan Magnite lower chin with Isuzu, the newer Isuzu we flared uh, arches into the old Isuzu KB front bumper, the older gen bumper. So please tell me how you went about taking the rough bumper that we brought you. So we kind of gave you a rough idea and you've now gone and refined it. How did you do that? So, like I said before, it wasn't easy. <laughs> From you, Gary, again. <laughs> All right. What we have done, you give us the spec, you fused it a little bit. What we had to do is, we had to fuse the plastics together. Okay, how did you do that? All right, so... Is that a trade we, secret? A little uh, bit. A little bit, yes and no. <laughs> I'll give you hints of some. Okay. We actually had to melt the bumper to about 85 degrees mm -hmm. to fuse them together with a special plates. Okay. To have molded so it has uh, factory finishing mm -hmm. on the inside on the inside and well so is on the outside, the outside. yeah a lot yeah. of people will use different products to fill up like body but they, filler. that's correct but with us you can lift it up with one hand okay so it means we use less products more plastics which but is more available it's harder to do. yes which is more plastics available today from different countries we can import it and you can fuse it okay. with the special machines. So you've almost welded the yes. plastic pieces together. Correct. How yes. did you go about, after you had now welded all the pieces together, to finish it? Well, this is a trick. Never use a body filler. Use plastic on plastic. Okay. With today's technologies, you can actually buy a plastic, mold, melt it and put it on. This is what we have done. So, it doesn't crack. So if you do hit a tire, which I hope you don't happen to, with the speed you do, like, <laughs> it will able to withstand the impact. Sure. The same. So it's all similar material. Similar materials to manufacturers, what they use. So there's no fiberglass. There's no fiberglass. It. And there's no fiberglass. It's, all plastic. Is, it's all plastic. It will withstand. It looks magnificent, I must 10, say. 10, 15 kilograms of an impact. Okay. Which is if you hit a pigeon at the high speed, the bumper won't crack and you won't see body filler. Okay. Like a lot of people do. Excellent. But it was a lot of hours that we put on this. It's to fuse it, melting, putting on and getting into finishings. As you can see it with all the lines. Even though what's your name, a Nissan Magnite becomes an Isuzu. <laughs> I think we're going to have to give it a new name, a fusion name. Yeah. Yeah. Or shall I leave it up to you? Yeah. And this, like I said, this is a beautiful product that we use that we had to import it, that I import. And thanks to my friends overseas that uh, helped me ship it for me. And this is the quality world that class, you get. World class product. This is what world you class. get. It's absolutely stunning. Absolutely. Because it looks original. It looks inside and outside, it looks like this bumper came from a manufacturer like this. Great job, bud. That's, I mean, that's how actually any baby gets born at the factories because they build them out of a clay and they give it to plastic guys mold and they start building a molds. And this is exactly the same. Well, I'm not equipped as a factory, but we can do it in the workshop. It's fantastic. It's absolutely exquisite. Should we venture over there to the bonnet and show the folks uh, the last bit of this process? Yeah. The fun part of this process. Oh yeah. Should oh yeah. So now we're at the bonnet. 
final piece of the puzzle? Are we ready to paint yet, Vlad? No, 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 no. Slow down, Gary. Uh, this is not your car with no? uh, too many horses. No? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Hold on. This is step? very crucial time, what we do. Okay. Because we only paint the car once. Not 10 times, once. So what we have to do, we have to put on the first a check coat. Is to see if there's any imperfections has been left behind what we have missed. Okay. So the check coat will show us more detailing what still needs to be finished off. So if there's any bumps or any dents, in the, in, in, imperfections, any imperfections in the paint surface like, itself. Yes, that's correct. The undercoat surface. Correct. Okay. Then after that, we put a ground coat. Mm -hmm. The ground coat will give us more of clarity when you paint. What is a, a lot of people don't understand, what is the ground coat? Ground coat separates the color from imperfection. Okay. To get your, the best enhancement of the color. I do it, we do it on almost every single car that we work on. It's to give us that color that the customer asks so for. So the color that's pops. It. Yes, and that's the important part. We just don't paint it. I mean, we spend already about 160 hours on this car and we're still going. So it's going to be another 90 hours easily before I can do my finishing product. Because you can't paint straight away in between the coats, check. It has to be done properly. It's like when you go for your haircut. You have to look good. Yeah, exactly. Now the fun side of things, guys. The color, my favorite part. So, as you see, red is not red, blue is not blue, orange is not orange, brown is not brown, silver is not silver. What is the process after we've chosen a color to put it onto the car? Well, you, what we have to do is, it's very simple. Make my you mind stick up and it, choose the bloody paint. You, you pick it. <laughs> We paint it. Pick it and stick it. That's it. So, look, this is a very crucial time. And look, as you can see, there's a million colors. Mm. Uh, variations, different, like you said, it's not white, it's not white. Silver is not silver, red is not silver. They all have different shadings, different uh, sparks, different effects, different... It's, it's, it's like a science lab on this year. Yeah. It's, it, everything is a science. I love green. And you know what, thanks to the new technology that we have today and some paint companies that produces very good paint for us to have fun. Yeah, yeah. You want more sparkles? We put more sparkles. You want it matte? We put it matte. 60 you years guys ago... Think, uh, sparkles will look cool? Hmm? What do you think? Oh, well, I can make you a power, power puff girls car. Oh. The Papa. space station, a Russian space station will be able to see you and track you. <laughs> so guys, I want you to leave comments down below. What color do you think we're going to make this beautiful bucky? Give us your uh, comments. We'd love to see them. We'd love for you to be part of the process. We have chosen the color. He knows and I know, but you don't know. So give us your comments. Thanks for watching. Vlad, thank you so much for your time. Appreciate I love your it. work, it's amazing. I just want to really, really thank you and your team for the amazing job you guys have done well, thus far. Thank it you really to my staff members and the team that I have. It's amazing. They have the same vision that I do and they're very patient at the East State, what we do on a daily basis, not only on your car, but every single client that comes in here. And when they leave, there's one thing that at most counts is a smile on your face. We'll talk about the payment later. <laughs> Peace out, guys. Ciao.